Hello, my name is Don, and I'm here at the Musical Instrument Museum today to teach you a little bit about the physics of music. And so I've got a setup here that's going to show us something very special, something called resonance. And it's the frequency that an object likes to vibrate at. And it could be anything. It could be a string, a rod, a bowl, but in this case we've got a string. And so I've got a frequency generator here, and basically this is going to tell this little uh, bob right here to go up and down a certain amount of times per second. And it's fixed to this bob, it's fixed to this end. And basically at certain frequencies we're going to see some interesting things happen. So I'm going to turn the amplitude up, which is basically just the power that I'm providing to this. And we see that there's this place of a lot of up and down action right here in the middle. And then on the ends there's not so much. And something interesting about resonance is that when you multiply this number by any number, you get different kinds of waveforms that look like this. And so I'm going to multiply it by 2, so we'll go from 5 to 10. And we see now there's this place in the middle here with a little bit, with zero action actually, and two places of a lot of action. And we can do this over and over and over again. I'm going to go up to 15, that's 5 times 3, now we have 3 places of a lot of action. And if you notice, this is a string. What instrument normally uses strings that you can think of? The first thing that comes to my mind is a guitar. I love playing guitar, and I always think about these resonant frequencies when I'm playing guitar. And so we'll have a little bit more fun, we'll go up to 30 here. 30 times a second that this bob is going up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six places of a lot of action. And these are directly related to musical notes that you hear when you hear an instrument. They're just the object, that instrument, is vibrating at that resonant frequency. As a physicist, I love telling people about the physics of music. And I hope that when you see a guitar string or see someone playing guitar, you remember what we learned here today. I had a lot of fun teaching you about resonance, and I hope to see you at the MIM.